Hey guys, it's Kaylin here. Thanks so much for joining me here again on the mat. Uh, today I have a great Pilates core strength exercise class for you. So um, as you know, if you've taken my classes before, right, the core is includes this whole area here, not just those abdominals that you may think about, but everything from the shoulders all the way down to the glutes here. So front and back. So we're gonna work on a little bit of everything. We are gonna focus, start on, um, once we do some warming up, we're gonna focus on kind of that flexion and those abdominals and then incorporate everything else too. So hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'd like you to come into an all fours position first. So go ahead and come into hands and knees. And just have those shoulders right over those wrists, the hips right over the knees, and start to move through your cat and cow. So inhaling to expand and exhale to round. Just warming up that spine. Good, exhale round. Give me two more. And last one. Good, around scoop, lift. Open up that back towards the sky. And then go ahead and give me that long spine here again. All right, so now we're gonna take that right leg, staying in all fours, we're gonna reach it back so we're here at hip height. So when you're here, that hip bone is pointing down towards the floor, not opening out towards the side. I want you to take an inhale here, feel your belly pulling in and up towards the back. And then on your exhale, you're gonna round the spine, pull the leg under, knee to nose. Good, inhale, lengthen back out. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Good, give me one more. And round. Good, place that leg down. We're gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. So extend that left leg back. Again, hip facing towards the floor. Good, spine long, take your inhale here. Exhale, round, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. Exhale. Two more, two. Last one, lengthen and around. Good, go ahead and bring the knee down. All right, flip over onto your back. We're gonna do what's called dead bug. I promise you, it probably won't feel like a dead bug, but it's gonna be a nice way to activate those abdominals. So if you've done this one before, you know where we're going. We're gonna go ahead and bring those legs into tabletop position. So when you're here, right, make sure the back of the ribs are pulling down. That might require you to put a pillow behind your head. Arms are reaching up towards the sky. Now we're gonna send that left leg forward, right leg is gonna go, sorry, left leg forward, right arm is gonna bring, come back by your head and then bring it back into center. Switch sides, left arm back, right leg forward. And we're doing that without arching the back. So keep that connection in that front body, ribs to hips, so we're not arching that spine and using that lower back instead of our core. Good, reach. And in, extend, in, good. Two more sets, two, two. Just warming up those abs, finding that stability here. Last one, good. Go ahead and bring your feet down to the floor. Bring your arms down as well. So walk your feet in a little bit closer. Legs are in parallel, spine is long. We're gonna do some flat back bridging, so start to Press into the feet, lift your upper body as one flat unit. So we're gonna lift up, use the glutes to lift, lower just to tap them on the ground, don't let them release. Lift and lower. Good, lift, lower. Good, so now we're working everything here, front, back body, bridging here requires the connection all the way from the glutes all the way up to the connection of the shoulders onto the floor. Good, give me three, two, and one. Good, lower it all the way down. Arms up to T, arms. Go ahead and come onto the tiptoes with the knees still bent. We're gonna just windshield wiper those legs here side to side. So 
This is a controlled motion, right? We're not going as fast as a uh, thunderstorm windshield wiper here. We're going pretty slow so that we can keep that connection of the ribs into the mat and the back of the shoulder, especially into the mat as we twist. Good, give me one more to the right. Warming up those rotational muscles. Good, and then go ahead and bring the feet down. All right, moving right into some of our traditional Pilates abdominal work. So we're gonna start with our single leg stretch. We're all warmed up now. Hopefully you feel a little bit more heated. We're gonna go ahead and bring the legs into tabletop. We're gonna lift into our ab curl. Hold the ab curl if you can. Bring that right leg in as you reach the left leg away, and then we switch. Now, this is too much with the head lifted. You lower the head down, and you just make sure you can keep that spine in that long position, no arching of the lower back. Otherwise, bring your head up and your chest. Shoulders stay down. Give me three, three, two, two, one, and one. Good. Bring the knees back into tabletop. This time, bring the hands behind the head. We're going to do the same thing with the legs. We're going to do a crisscross rotation with the upper body. So we're going to lift into our abdominal curl, keep the elbows wide, and then start to rotate to your left as you reach the right leg long, pull the left leg in, and then we twist, other side, twist, good, reach. So you're trying not to wobble or shift in that pelvis. That's staying nice and steady. Good, give me five. Four, three, two, nice, last one. Good, lower it all the way down, pull the knees into the chest. All right, extend the legs out long. We're gonna do our full roll-ups here. If legs extended is not doable for you, go ahead and bend the knees and place the feet on the mat. You get the same motion there as you would if the legs were long. This is just a little bit more of a challenge. Good, and reach the arms back behind you. Take an inhale here, exhale. Start to bring your chin to your chest, your arms come up. Peel the spine up and off. Whether your knees are bent or round, you're gonna round over the legs. Good, now you're gonna roll back down. If you've got those knees bent, you need to grab behind the thighs to help you come down, feel free. And reverse back up, grab onto the back of the legs if you need to, to come up and forward. Good, reach over. There's always a modification for wherever you're at. Give me three more. Scoop, round, up, over, lift. Good, find that articulation as you come down one bone at a time. Good, last two. Yeah, this takes a lot of control. And even as you come down, right, you're gonna wanna plop down pretty quickly so you control that motion down. Give me one more, exhale, chin to chest, reach, round, up and over. And we're gonna meet on the mat, coming all the way back down. All right, bend the knees, and we're gonna bring your legs back to that tabletop position. So legs up here, and we're gonna do our double leg stretch. So we're gonna lift into your ab curl again, if that's doable for you, otherwise keep your head down. So we're gonna come up here, lift shoulders down. We're gonna inhale, shoot your arms and legs out without lowering the chest down. Exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, open, exhale, circle the arms out, bring it back in. Good, inhale, open, exhale, in. So. You're like a statue from your crown of your head to your pelvis. You know, the only thing that's moving are the arms and the legs. Give me one more. Inhale out. Exhale in. Lower it all the way down. All right. Single straight leg stretch. Sounds like that first one we did, single leg stretch. This one's a little different. You're going to bring your legs up towards the sky, and you're going to come into that ab curl. You're going to bring your hands behind that right leg, reach the left leg away. And then we switch, switch, and reach. If you need to bring the head down, feel free. Maybe bend the knees a little bit if you need to as well. You do you wherever you're at today. 
Two more sets. Two, two, one, and one. Good, lower it all the way down. All right, extending the legs back up to the sky for double leg reaches. So go ahead and lift into that ab curl again here if you can, otherwise stay down onto your back. Reach those fingers and arms long. We inhale, lower those legs, reach them away. Exhale as we lift back up. Good, once you lower the legs, you only come as low as you can without arching that back. You start to arch the back, you've gone too far. Give me three more, three. Last two. Last one, and lift, good. Bend the knees in, go ahead and rock the head here, side to side. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and roll up to seated. So coming all the way back up, and we're gonna stay seated here. Bring your hands behind your thighs, just like um, we did. But we didn't do those at the beginning. But anyway, another uh, uh, modification. We're gonna bring the hands behind the thighs. We're gonna scoop the belly back. Find that C curve, okay? Now, you're gonna stay here. Maybe you lift the arms off if that feels okay. Reach the arms forward. Start to lift that right leg up and off the mat. Place it down, switch to the other side. Left leg lifts and lower. Maybe the hands are still here behind the thighs for a little extra support. Find that scoop, that curve from your sitting bones to your crown of your head. Good, lift and lower. Give me two more sets if you can. Come up to seated if you need a break. Good, and lower, last set. Lift, lower, last one, lift and lower. Good, hands behind the thighs. Bring yourself back up to seated. All right, now we're gonna try to hold this, that position again and work with both legs lifted. So I want you to go ahead and find that C curve here. Extend the arms, bring that right leg up to tabletop and that left. Now you do alternating toe taps, right toe goes down and then left. Good, right. So this one's more challenging because that opposite leg is staying lifted. You gotta use that core more, you'll probably be feeling your legs. One more set, right and left. Good, bring the hands behind the thighs, lower the feet down. Go ahead and give me a round spine up and over. Good, sit all the way up. All right, last one we're gonna do here. So as you can see, we're progressing this. I want you to find that C curve, but really open through the collarbone, right? So we don't wanna be way here. We wanna stay open through here, but scooped through that lower belly. Draw that right leg to tabletop and then that left, and then bring your arms forward and hold. Maybe you extend the legs, you can do teaser, and you just hold this position. Maybe you keep the knees bent. Either one is fine. I want you to hold for five, four, three, two, one. Good, bring the knees down and the feet and lower. All right, so let's extend those legs out here. They're gonna be a little bit wider than mat distance apart. We're gonna get a little stretch for the back body but by lifting up through our core and our center, okay? So, you're gonna send those arms forward. If you need to bend the knees here to get this tall spine, please do. Arms are reaching forward, chin comes to the chest as you inhale. Imagine you're coming up and over a big beach ball as you pull the belly back, bring the spine over, and then stack it back up. Good, do that again, like you're peeling your spine off the wall, one bone at a time. And then we lift, stack, and center. Good, give me four more. Up and over. So we're not collapsing forward. That's where that lift up comes from. As you bring the upper body forward and come back up. Good, last one, chin to chest, peel off. 
up over reach and then come back up to center. All right, go ahead and bring those legs together. We'll leave the arm up, arms up to the sky. Go ahead and hinge forward, grab on wherever you can and let the head release. Good, take a couple of breaths here. All right, go ahead and stack that spine all the way up to seated. You're gonna go ahead and turn and face me, whichever side that is for you. And we're gonna come onto the forearm with the knees bent and the feet together. So we're gonna do a little um, side bridge hip lift and add a clam with that, okay? So this is getting obliques, it's getting here, it's getting the glutes, lots going on, it's getting the shoulder as well. So when we lift up into this side plank, let's do that first. You're gonna press the hips forward so you're in a nice long line from your head to your knees. So no hips back, press it forward. Now when you lift up, then you open that top leg, and then as the knee closes, you lower down. And then you lift and lower, just to tap. We lift, lower. So not only do you get the bottom glute as you lift up, you get that top glute that's working with clam. Good, lift, lower. Make sure this shoulder is pulling down towards your, um, towards your ribs. Now you can always do this here just by sitting down, doing just the clamming here. You can always just come up and do just the side plank lift. Give me two more, two. Last one, stay lifted, just the clamming here, open, close the leg. Good, give me eight, seven, six, five. This is all about that stability, four, three, you got it, two and one, good. Lower back down, sit up for a second, roll the shoulders out. We're gonna do a little bit more on this side here with just a side plank. So maybe you hold that kneeling plank, maybe you stack the legs, maybe you have one in front of the other. Those are your three options. Stacking the legs is gonna be the most challenging. When you're ready, go ahead and lift up Hold that plank here. Good. Now either stay here or add some hip dips. Lower the hips, lift up. Good, lower and lift. Give me four more, four, three. You got it. Last two. I know that shoulder's on fire. Good, lower the hips down, bend the knees. Go ahead and sit up. Bring that other hand down. Reach that top arm over. Good, just stretching out that whole side body and then come all the way up. We're gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. Shoulder right over that elbow. We're gonna start with that bridge hip lift with the clam. Remember, you can just do the clam here or you can just lift up into that side kneeling plank. All right, when you're ready, start to come up. Press the hips forward, open that top knee, lower down. Good, lift and lower, lift, lower, good. It's a great overall core exercise, especially for those obliques and those glutes. Good, give me three more, three, you got it, two, and one, stay lifted, just give me those clams. Give me eight, seven, six, Five, just stabilizing, four, you got this, three, two, and one. Good, bring the knees together, lower it down. All right, come up for just a second, roll out those shoulders. We're gonna come into that full side plank if that's doable for you. Otherwise, come onto your knees. All right, so when you're ready, lift up, find that Stability here first, stay here if this is good for you. Otherwise, maybe try to dip the hips and lift. Dip and lift, you got it. Dip and lift, give me five more. Five, four, three, two, 
and one. Awesome, bring the hips down, bend the knees, and give me that side stretch over to the other side. Oh, it feels good. Whew. And then go ahead and come on up. All right, so we are gonna come onto hands and knees now. So, on two hands, straight arms here. Now, we're gonna do a little um, knee lift and then add a leg extension. So I'm gonna walk you through that. Um, probably best to be on your hands. If you need to be on your forearms, that's fine. It just might feel a little awkward with that knee lift with the leg extension, but give it a try. We're gonna tuck your toes under. Now the first thing we're gonna do is just gonna Get this knee lift a few times. So keep the spine long. And we're gonna lift the knees, literally just hovering off the floor. Hold for three, two, one. Good, lower the knees down. We're gonna do that again. Shoulder slide down towards the ribs. Good, lift straight up over the hands. Lift for three, two, one. Good, lower the knees. I want one more just like that. You got this. Good. Lift, knees, hover, hold for three, two, one. Good, lower it down. All right, so here it comes. We're gonna do an alternating leg extension in the knee lift. So, make sure you have some space behind you on your mat. Go ahead and hover the knees. Left leg's gonna stay where it is. Right leg reaches back, toe taps the ground. And then we bring that leg in, switch to the other side. Left leg reaches back, toe taps and in, right leg back and in. Try not to shift anything in the body besides that leg moving, so core is strong. Good, left, in, give me one more set. Right, in, left, in. Now give me full plank if you can. Come onto your knees if you need to. Both legs out, reaching long, hold. Press yourself away from your floor, pull your core in. Give me five, four, Three, two, one, awesome. Bring the knees down, shift the hips back, just for a quick child's pose. Oh, let it go. All right, go ahead and start to come forward. Bring yourself all the way onto the floor. So let's come into a kneeling plank to do this. So hips are forward, shoulders down. Start to bend the elbows by the sides as you slow, slowly bring yourself down to your mat. Good, and then release it all the way. Now from here, go ahead and bring your forehead, or I'm sorry, do this first. Bring your hands in front of you with your elbows wide, and your forehead is gonna rest on your hands. All right, so legs are a little bit wider than hip distance. Toes are turned slightly out to the side. Now. Shoulders are pulling down, even though the arms are higher than the shoulders. You wanna pull the shoulders, connect to the ribs. Pull the belly in and up. This is the important part. We gotta set up here first. Belly's pulling in and up. Glutes are slightly engaged. And now I want you to take that upper body on your inhale with your hands attached to your head. You're gonna lift the upper body up. You will not be able to come that high. So a little baby extension, and then we lower back down. Good, let's do that again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good, give me two more, two. Last one, lift. And lower, very nice. Bend the knees in and just windshield wiper them side to side to get a little loosening in the hips here. All right, now we're gonna add, or we're gonna keep the upper body still and lift the legs. So forehead back onto the hands. Good, we turn the toes again out again, pull the belly in, and then with the legs long, we start to lift the legs up and off the mat, reach, extend, and then lower. And then we lift, lower. So this is more glutes. Lower body here, protect that back, keep that core pulling in. Good, give me four, three, two, and 
and one. Good. Lower those legs down. Go ahead and bend those knees again. In wind chill, wipe your here side to side. All right. So now we're going to do upper and lower body together with our Superman. So arms and legs are going to reach straight out away from the body. Now, belly's pulling in, glutes engaged. Go ahead and lift as you inhale, upper and lower body together into Superman. And then we lower just to tap down and then we lift back up. Good, we lower, tap and lift. Good, lower, tap, lift. Good, give me three more. Three, two. Last one, see if you can lift and hold it for five. Four, three, two, one. Good. Bring it all the way back down. Again, forehead under the, on top of the hands. Wind chill wiper those legs, bending those knees side to side. Very nice job. All right. So go ahead here. Press your hands into the floor. I want you to lift up into all fours again. And I want you to give me a cat position. All right, so in this cat pose, you're really rounding, widen the knees a little bit, feet are together. And we're gonna come back into child's pose. So you come back just for a moment, and then you come back into cat, coming back up onto the knees and forward over the hands. And then we bring it back again. Good, and back forward. So we're in this rounded position the whole time. Give me two more, two. Stretching out that lower back. Last one, bring it back and forward. Very nice. All right, settling into more of a regular tabletop or table position with the body. We're gonna do some hip circles. So I want you to think of just moving the hips in a circle here. So that whole lower body, lower back should feel a little bit looser. And just do what feels good, right? So just make it flow and then go ahead in the opposite direction. We're just cooling things down. Good, two more, two. Last one. Beautiful. All right, get a wrist stretch here. So take your um, forearms and you're going to turn them away from you so your fingers are facing your body. And then we're going to start to lean back just enough that you can feel that stretch in the forearms. We did a lot on the hands. We did a lot on the um, in the forearm position. So just want to stretch that out. Good. Now go ahead and flip your palms here. Palms are facing up towards the sky, fingers towards you. And you're gonna do that same thing, kind of pull back a little bit. You'll feel that stretch in the top of the wrist instead of underneath. Beautiful. And then go ahead and unflip those wrists and go ahead and sit on up. All right, go ahead and give me a butterfly stretch. So. Feet are gonna come together, knees are wide. Oh, my inner thighs are tight. Go ahead and stay lifted. All right, sitting up nice and tall here, shoulders down. And then go ahead and bring that upper body forward and just let the head release. Good, we're just finishing up here. So I just went horseback riding for the very first time with my daughter and didn't realize quite how much inner thigh was used for that. So I am definitely feeling it today, but it was so much fun. I'd love to hear if you guys, any of you do that as well, it's something that we're gonna continue weekly. And um, there's so much that we do in here in Pilates for equestrians and horseback riding, that posture, that balance, that stability and alignment. So. I am so excited to keep going. So thank you guys for joining me here today. Um, it was such a pleasure. If you guys wanna continue on, I'll link some upper and lower body workouts here. Um, please go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you back here on the mat soon. Thanks so much.